Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You like my big fluffy hair? I haven't washed my hair since I did the wash and go routine. Before we jump into it, <laughs> let me introduce you to who I am. This girl right here, my name is Shamira. <laughs> and you're gonna love to love me. Today, guess what I'm doing? I finally had time. Well actually, no, I don't have the time. I found the time to do the review for the NYX foundation. I know I'm late. Let's get started. I need to push this hair up. Oh, I got a little sleep in my eye. Why did I ain't tell me? So what the topic can be today? Let's talk about bad attitudes. Let's define bad attitudes. Hey Google, define bad attitudes. On the website study.com, they say, a negative attitude is a disposition, feeling, or manner that is not constructive, cooperative, or optimistic. Hmm. But that has nothing to do with me waking up and not want to say anything. I say hello. It might not be in the tone that you want it to be. It has nothing to do with you. Please stop labeling black women because I don't answer you in a correct tone that you prefer. Don't label it as a bad attitude. Label it as, hey. She's just not a morning person. You don't know her, you're not her best friend, sister, mother, cousin. It could just simply be a bad day. It's brow time. <laughs> right now, I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I'm just doing like hair-like structures. When I get to the front, I do hair strokes in the hair direction. I'm just going up, not too much. And then like when it comes down to the tail, I just try to make it very, very thick. And then I brush up, and then I brush down. I brush up to see if I need to add anything or if I left any gaps. Please keep in mind that I'm not a makeup artist, okay? I learned from YouTube and just planning my makeup on a random day. You don't get better at something if you don't practice. All right, let me work on my left eyebrow. I'm about to go in with this brow gel. Um, I have used this brow gel. This will be my fourth time. And it works. It has this cooling effect. I still gotta get used to. I do wanna say, hey babe, I know you're watching this. I love you. Now it's time to powder my T-zone before I put on my foundation. <sighs> really getting in them greasy parts, you know what I'm saying? Foundation time. But what I do, specifically me, I like to squirt a little bit on my hand. All right, so I did four pumps. Is this much? And I have my foundation brush. It is by e.l.f. And you see, do you see this color on me? I don't know what it's looking like on camera, but in person, it matches. It looks a little gray in this area because I put a lot of powder right there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the more right here. It looks so flawless. I'm in the color in deep cool. It says 24 hour matte finish. I'm either using the Nubian green eyeshadow palette by Juvia or the Saharan one. Let's prime my, eye, my eyelids real quick. Let's use the ColourPop concealer. And the color that I'm using is deep golden. Spread the product evenly around my eyelids and then using my fingers to tap it in. Let me figure out what I look I want to do right now and then I'll come back on camera and demonstrate what I did. Okay, I'm back and um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the first thing I did was jump into the Saharan eyeshadow palette. I dipped my brush in Jamila and Sokoto and I just used that as a base, I guess, all the way up to the end of my bottom 
eyelid. Not the bottom eyelid, but the top, but at the bottom of the top of the eyelid. And I just worked it through, making a, creating a nice little base for the top. All right, and then I jumped into my Maybelline Fit Me blush in the color Fard. And I just put that all over my lid. Creating a base. I just pat it in. And I should have stopped right here, but I just kept on going. <laughs> After that, I jumped into Iman Mod and pat it in in the starting with the inner eye corner, kind of like meeting halfway in the middle. And I just pat that in, pat, pat, pat. And then I went into Fula. And I just pat that on at the end of my eyelid, towards the middle of my eyelid. So I sprayed it with the NYX <laughs> Matte Finish Spray. And bam, it picked up a lot more. And then I went into this champagne yet cotton candy looking color in the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And I put it on top of our man. Worked it in. Start sweeping to the left after I pat it. Wipe my brush off. Dip into it again. Blew the excess off inner eye corner to the middle. That's kind of like meeting where the Fula ended. And yeah, that's what I got. Done. Don't put your colors away yet because you have to sweep it at the bottom of your eyelash line. So now let's move on to concealer. So today, this is my first time ever using Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the color 30 cafe and let's just see what it do oh it's bright You trying to drive on me? Okay, hold up. I have my beauty blender and I'm just gonna. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, girl, you try. I'm gonna use the wet one. Nice. Girl, you are really drying, huh? Help! So I'm gonna go in with the, I don't like the cast it was giving me. So I'm gonna go in with the Sephora in my skin tone, in my skin color. I'm kinda like, yeah, I like that better. Now I'm going to set it in Sasha. Got my beauty blender, dipped it in the container, a little on the top, and I go on my hand and press, press, press. Ooh, that might be too much, but I can clean it. That's what I was going for. And now I need to work on, I'm going to use Sephora concealer. Work on my chin. Work around my mouth. I put a little bit of Maybelline right here and right there. I tried to do the 
color of my foundation around my mouth so it won't look so bright around my mouth but my chin I kind of want it to be a little a little bright as well as my forehead and I just blend that in the same part I used to set my primer I'm going to use to sweep out the Sasha just like that let's do a little bit of contouring I'm taking my Becca contour powder and I'm just contour powder I'm trying to bring myself back together here going to the eyeshadow again gold color and give myself a brow bone highlight now I'm gonna take this little bitty brush that I found at the dollar store and I'm going to in a corner of this eye shot it using Zoya and placing it right here. Mines are pretty deep. We're gonna use the brush that I highlighted my brow bone with, and I'm gonna use it for my under my under eye. The color that I'm gonna use underneath my eye, my blush from Maybelline. Let's put on this highlighter. I don't wear lashes and I also do not do the eyeliner or, or the wing. So now, the hardest part is the lipstick. I think I'm going to use Click by ColourPop. It's one of these looking ones. Let's get a brown liner. This is in the color Downtown Beauty by NYX. So, that's not working out. Let's see if I can use Chi. Let's spray. Okay, I'm done. Hair is fixed. It's 1246. I don't know if you can see that. I'll probably get back on camera um, around 10 or 11, hopefully. I'm back. It is 2201 in military time, 1001 in American time. So I dimmed the lights down so you guys can see exactly what my face looked like because this other light that I have it was just like blurring me out and you couldn't really see the grease on my face the powder really eliminate how oily I could really be because it can be very oily I didn't blot my face at all today the only thing that I retouched up was my lipstick because I didn't want to come on camera looking crazy I actually really like this foundation to be honest with you I felt like it was a perfect match like I literally wanted to call the operator and ask to speak to Alyssa Ash and be like girl thank you I felt like it was an airbrush effect I have no cons about it it's just all pros let's blot my face to see what it looks like when the oil is removed one sheet Oh, look at that straight oily bro <laughs> oh it looks great oh it looks amazing see all that oil disgusting I know right but the oil that comes from your face helps prevent the wrinkles so people with oily skin typically don't have wrinkles so that's a pro to being oily I think if I were you I would go try it. 
just buy it. It's only $12 at Ulta. I would definitely keep this in my collection. I'm not taking it back. This might be my everyday. She did that. Another thing, the Maybelline um, concealer, bomb, bomb. I think it's on one of those levels next to NARS. Like, I love it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and watch the next video. I love you guys.